memory consists mainly, there's a lot of different structures, but mainly out of three areas. Encoding, which is how you perceive the information and put it into your head. The storage, what is happening in your head, and the retrieval uh, phase of this information, when you need to have it and when you need to have it ready. In encoding, we have, there's sometimes three, sometimes four, sometimes five main um, types of how you can perceive information. One is visual. You, you, you save a picture of something that you saw. Then you have acoustic, which is, that's why I'm talking to this presentation, because you will hear me uh, what I say, you will hear when I emphasize on certain words, you will um, see that together with my visual emphasizes on, on, on certain things I say. So all of this will help you to memorize and to get information into your head. Semantic means you try to understand the meaning. That's often when you like look at uh, text elements or you try to understand a concept or an idea. There's not really, not really a picture that you have for that. It's also not a sound. And then tactile, which is like feelings. So um, you, you, you taste something or you smell something or the, the feel of cuddling somebody, you know, that's, that's uh, tactile. And what you want to do is when you do trainings, and again, this is something you can do already in, in your organizations, you want to try to make all of them as big as possible. So I don't know how many really remember of the last slide that Ahmed was showing. He had a word presented there. You try to understand what it is, but if you try to make this word visual, if you try to visualize this cat sitting in the honey pot, you know, it's a very sweet cat in the honey pot, then all of a sudden that picture you will remember far over the end of this call, um, whereby just looking at the letters um, might not give you uh, the best learning experience. So try to make this. You know, I read the word, I say sweet cat, and then I even ask you to imagine the honey where the cat is sitting and how that feels in your mouth. So now I'm also trying to get your tactile memory involved in that. And all of this will help to really make this um, learning stick more in, in with the employees. When it comes to storage, all of you know that you have a short term memory, uh, normally lasts 15 to 30 seconds, and you can remember roughly seven items. What you need to do is you need to move this important information into your long-term memory. How does your brain know that it's important? Well, you need to repeat it. It needs to be shown up again and your memory will understand, oh, oh that is an important information. And that storage is unlimited and indefinitely. The trick is, how do you get it out there? And that's the last phase, that's the retrieval phase. And that is where frequent testing comes into place. Frequent testing means in this case, you want to have regular recalls if you still memorize it correctly. So you want to double check what I have remembered. Is that still correct? Because our memory likes to play tricks on us and adds information and takes information away and turns information around. So we really want to check on a regular basis and um, do these recalls. The second strategy that you can implement to improve your trainings is spacing. That means if you only hear things once, it's very hard to remember them. If I would repeat the same information over and over again during this call, which I will do, which is this main areas, memory and, um, and habits, you will start memorizing that better. But what you actually want to achieve, you want to extend this repetitions over a period of time. You don't want to do it everything in one hour. You want to maybe repeat it after a few days again, and then after a few weeks, and then after a few months. And that really helps you um, to, to retrieve the information way better and way faster. And the last part that you can do is called interleafing. This means in real life, you will not need all the information from a one hour training session exactly in the same order, exactly in the same time. You might need, you know, there's a customer, a patient coming into, into your clinic, he wants to register. So you need to have this information available. Then at, uh, shortly after, you receive an email with some phishing attempts, you know, somebody trying to hack your hospital. So your staff needs to get this information out there. How do I recognize this? So the retrieval normally happens not in a structured way, but interleaved. And this is what you also want to do with when you do your space repetitions. You don't want to do one hour training repeats after and after again, but you want to do all of this um, with very small learning chunks and, and information chunks and mixing the topics. That's really the key.